Well, hello there. Uh, apparently I'm a madman. So I ordered paint online. And this paint is particularly dye competition grade. It's not that brittle. See, I dropped it on the ground. It's a bounce. Oh, crap. Ah. 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 All right. But I think it's particularly nice because sometimes with some, pr some stuff that's too brittle, you might get some barrel breaks uh, in a very stupid fashion. For example, you're overboring and the balls are so brittle they actually break in your barrel. So we break this stuff and we realize how thick yet watery the fill is. By that I mean it, it feels like it gets all over the place. In that sense it's watery. But it's also a dark, like it's also a sticky color. And that's a problem I had with the Balkan paint. I was tagging people wearing dark clothes and the stuff was so watery. It, I was like, oh, you didn't hear me? I was like, yeah, I did. Look at the shell. So, anyway, we got some. All right, got my pants dirty. Doesn't matter. Tiny ball, anyway. So, we got some dye CG balls that we're going to shoot and kind of give you my first impressions on the whole CG dye balls and stuff. So, let's get to it. Really, John? Thank you so much. You're so. I love balls. So I put them in my gun. Shoot them. So now, let's actually do something interesting with our lives. Let's take our marker, air it up. Let's take our tiny CG, not the broken one, but it'll stick the sink. And we're gonna use this uh, crappy speed loader to load them all up. And we're gonna do so. We dropped like five balls, but that's okay. Anyway, are you ready? I think I am. Close your eyes, this is some very bad aim. Turn off the fire! All right, this is some pretty good stuff. It puts out fires. That's, that says a lot. All right, now most paints pretty <coughs> at long range, I mean crappy at long range. So. <clears throat> Let's see how Dye CG does. And I'm pretty serious about my long range shooting. I actually am surprised. That's not that bad. Considering I have horrible aim, that's not that bad. Now my favorite thing, what? It's too zoomed in. Better? It's okay. Okay. Anyway, so what I like best about it is that the dye itself is pretty thick, even though the fill is pretty watery, which is nice, because when you hit something, the fill goes all over the place, but if the dye itself is pretty thick, it's gonna like be visible and it's gonna stay. So, unlike some field paint where the fill itself is pretty thick, this is pretty nice because it because it gets gets all over the place and it stays, which is what we want in paint. The fill is excellent. The brittleness is all right. I mean, it's not too brittle. Which 
I can appreciate because I got barrel brakes even over boring, which is crazy. So, I mean, I've got barrel brakes with the ETAC 5 barrel, which is like a 693, which is crazy. So, yeah. I mean, it was like with really real stuff. So, I guess. Anyway, I like a lot that the paint itself can put out fires. I like that a lot. I mean, most paint can't even start a fire. This one can start it and put it off. So that's a bit impressive. All in all, my first impressions, I'll use it again. It's like, it's some sort of, it's the kind of paint I'll use again, which is nice. That's all, you can leave now.